Seven things that happen when you are arrested in the UK. The first one is when you are arrested, the police have to caution you, which is you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense. If you fail to mention something which you later rely on in court, anything you say may be given in evidence, which basically means you have a right to remain silent. It's your choice whether to exercise you or not. And if you remain silent, the second part of the caution is that can be used against you in court if you don't answer a question that was asked of you in the police station interview. The third part of the caution is that anything you are going to be saying in the police station can be recorded and presented as evidence in court. The next thing that happens when you are arrested is you are taken to a custody block or a custody suite where your rights are read to you. Three of those rights are you are given a copy of the police code of conduct booklet. The other right is you have a right to inform someone that you have been arrested. The third right is you have a right to legal representation present during your detention at the police station. Next, the police will inform your solicitor that you have been arrested and that you are ready to be interviewed. The solicitor will then make his way to the police station and once he gets to the police station, the police will provide him with disclosure. Disclosure is basically the evidence against you that the police will use in the police interview. After the disclosure, then you have a chance to speak to your solicitor in private. This is a confidential chat which the solicitor cannot inform the police about. The solicitor will then advise you what to do or what not to do in the police station interview you then go ahead into your police station interview with your solicitor being present by your side after the interview the police have five options available to them the first one is to charge you with the offense that you have been arrested for and to remand you to court the second option is to charge you with the offense that you have been arrested for but to bail you to go to court the third option is to release you under investigation. So you haven't been charged with the offense and you're not on bail. But the police can come back to you at any time with a charge sheet or inform you that they will be taking no further action against you. The fourth option that the police have is to bail you under section 47 subsection three, which basically means you will have to adhere to bail conditions. You will be given a date to return to the police station so they can make a decision. The fifth option, which is the best option, is that you will get no further action, which means that the police will be taking no further action in relation to the offense that you have been arrested for. Always remember your rights, but more importantly, remember there's a defense for every offense.